It's an honor 66 years overdue. Today, a Wisconsin World War II veteran received the Victory Medal. And the best part, he had no idea it was coming. Well, we did. Our Chip Rooster was in Kenosha when one of the greatest generation got his greatest honor. This story you will see only on Fox 6. It's the annual Veterans Day Recognition Assembly at Kenosha's Stocker Elementary School. They're singing, Heroes, poems, and of course, veterans. <laughs> it's all pretty typical until 88-year-old George Michael is called to the podium. If Sergeant Michael would please join us. He had no clue. He had no idea. I was shaken. I, I mean, what? What, what's going on here? It's a ceremony more than six decades in the making. Michael had served in World War II, yet had never received the Victory Medal. It's a problem Jim Lentz set out to solve. The more I got to know him, the more I wanted to get that medal for him. <laughs> Michael had served on a B-24 bomber in World War II. He flew his first mission into France five days after D-Day. When we flew over the channel on that first mission, I have never seen so many boats. One month later, Michael's bomber was shot down. He became an internee, essentially a prisoner of war in a neutral country. Six months later, he was able to escape with the help of the French resistance. He was discharged in 1944, the year before the Victory Medal was first authorized. Did you know that you were supposed to have it? No. On top of it all, one of Michael's daughters teaches at Stoker. She was able to get most of the family to Kenosha. It only amplified the honor. To be able to give him this medal and honor him really specially today, it was really cool. Finality. It's closure. It couldn't have been better. George isn't the only World War II veteran that was discharged before the medal was authorized. If you know of any veterans that earned the Victory Medal but did not receive it, simply contact your local VA office for help. Reporting in Kenosha, Chip Brewster, Fox 6 News. That's not all. Michael will be honored again tonight. He's set to drop the first puck at the 7 o'clock Admirals game. Gee, I got a little tear in my eye and everything. Here. I know. I, we needed a good story <laughs> wow. after all the bad news. Well, Veterans Day is coming up, and events honoring our service members have already started. The Milwaukee VA.